This is an operating systems question. We have been given the snapshot of a system in which there are n concurrent processes such that a process PI has held XI resources for all i from 1 to n, which means P1 will hold X1 resources, P2 will hold X2 instances and so on up to Pn holding Xn instances of the same resource R. But they have given that there are no additional instances of R left, but each process PI can additionally request YI instances for its execution. Now we know that uh, with this P1 will request for Y1 resources, P2 will request for Y2 and so on. PN will request for YN additional resources. But every process PI can execute only when it has acquired the total of XI plus YI instances because XI it has already held and YI it has requested. Once it has this total number of instances, then only it can execute and after execution, it can release those resources back for others to use. Now they have said that there are exactly two processes P and Q such that YP equal to YQ equal to zero, which means there are two such processes which do not have any additional resource requirement they can execute in whatever they have already held which is xp and xq and after that they will release these many number of resources xp plus xq into the stream and then these can be used by the other processes for example let us consider p1 and p2 are those resource processes such that y1 and y2 are both zero so now these p1 and p2 can execute using the total of x1 plus x2 two resources and after completion they will release these for other n minus two processes for executing but they have asked us for a condition which guarantees that no other process apart from these p and q must be able to complete its execution so now what do we mean by this is if these x1 plus x2 excess resources have been released into the stream for others to use and still they must not be able to complete their execution which means that this x1 plus x2 must be less than the demand of any of these and minus two processes which means for all i ranging from uh, 1 to n except these p and q these x1 plus x2 value must be less than any yi so we can see that in the option a that xp plus xq means the released resources must be less than the minimum requirement of any of these k processes which such that k is not equal to p and k is not equal to q uh, that simply implies that for all the processes except these uh, p and q the released resources must be less than any of their requirement with this uh, none of these n minus two processes will be able to complete its execution and only these two p and q will be able to complete so the correct option would be a 